Hey, I'm Gabby Beckford, and I'm a full-time digital nomad. And what about the health insurance? I got this question pretty often, and no offense, because I'm American too, but I feel like it's a very American question. This question was asked in response to my last video where I introduced myself and said that I'm 28 years old and I travel the world full-time working remotely. Because if I work for a big company and worked abroad, I think it'd be even easier because that company probably has either a separate health insurance plan for remote workers, or they reach an agreement with you about like you getting your own health insurance, which I guess kind of leads us back to my bag. But what I feel like a lot of Americans don't know is that there's an option called global health insurance. And it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's an insurance plan that covers you anywhere around the world. Big names you might know like Cigna, Aetna, um, United Health Insurance, Alliance, Geo Blue, all have global health insurance plans that you can buy. And you pay for month to month like any other regular health insurance. But I don't have a global health insurance plan because I've honestly found that it works out better for me economically to have travel insurance which covers like my trip disruptions and like my travel deals and just pay for my medical bills out of pocket there are pros and cons to this but i found that there are more pros for me as a generally healthy person without any chronic illnesses that i know about so i use safety wing for my travel insurance absolutely love them but they also have a global health insurance option for 123 dollars a month so that's what i'm going to use as this reference i have no problem with 123 dollars a month and i might buy that if I literally still didn't think or see that it's cheaper to pay for it myself out of pocket for the things that I do need and that it's less paperwork and less like, are they gonna reimburse me or not type headache that you just get with insurance things. Every six months or so, I do like a blood panel just to check and see that like my vitamins are like good, I don't have any deficiencies, that my hormones are good, that my cholesterol isn't super high or like stress isn't super high for some reason. When I did that in Cyprus, it was 120 bucks and I just like had the idea and did it three days later at the local hospital, it was very easy. In Cape Town, I think it was 50 bucks. In Cape Town, I also saw a nutritionist a few times and that was like 50 bucks. Last year, I found a lump in my boob that I wanted to get checked out. I was also in Cape Town at the time. It was 50 bucks to see the boob doctor and literally another 30 to go to the lab and get like the sonogram to see what was inside it. I got strep throat once when I was in Dubai and I had like body aches and chills and, it, and a fever, it was absolutely awful. I went to the doctor and they gave me a shot of antibiotics in my book and I think that was like, $45? And all those appointments were walk-in, um, no appointments, no stress, no insurance. One definite con about not having insurance is that you don't have a primary care doctor who can like follow your medical history and like reference all of your medical history when they're making diagnoses on you. So I have to be extremely diligent and like self-manage myself. I have all of my medical records myself. I have to know my medical history pretty well. I like read through that thing a few times just to know like what things I may have to bring up as far as like vaccinations and family medical history and like my blood type. Like I know all that stuff and I have to know all that stuff if I have to like advocate for my own healthcare, even when I'm traveling, like, yeah, but long story short, that's what I've been doing. I've been paying out of pocket. It's been working well for me so far. And I've been able to have like preventative healthcare and like better healthcare, honestly, than I would have in the United States with a lot less stress because I can just manage it myself. But if you're considering being a digital nomad and you want the peace of mind, it would only cost maybe 123 bucks or more depending on the plan you get if you want global health insurance while you travel abroad.